5, Section 6, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines Parallel Lines Parallel lines will never intersect. Two lines are parallel in the coordinate plane if they are non-vertical lines that have the same slope and a different y-intercept. Vertical lines are parallel if they have different x-intercepts. This first example says what is an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through 215 and is parallel to the graph of y equals 4x minus 1. We just said that parallel lines have to have the same slope. We're given the slope of the line um, that we want to write an equation that is parallel to the line. The equation of the line we're wanting to write an equation an equation that's parallel to is y equals 4x minus 1. In this uh, slope-intercept form equation, we're given that the slope is 4. Because the slope of the original line is 4, the slope of a line parallel is also 4. So we know the, line, the slope of the line of the equation that we're wanting to write is 4. We're also given a point on the line. We know a point on the line and the slope so let's use, or let's start with, point-slope form. Using the slope of 4 and the point 2, 15, point-slope form would be y minus 15 equals 4 parentheses x minus 2. But if you remember in the, exam, in the question, they say, what is an equation in slope-intercept form? Remember, we can change the equation from point-slope form to slope-intercept form by isolating y or getting y by itself. First, we need to distribute the 4, which gives us y minus 15 equals 4x minus 8. Next, we need to add 15 to both sides, and when we do so, we get y equals 4x plus 7. So the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that goes through the point 215 and is parallel to the graph of y equals 4x minus 1 is y equals 4x plus 7. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. Two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if the coordinate, in the coordinate plane if their slopes have a product of negative 1. Remember, means pro product means that when we multiply them together, it would equal negative 1. A vertical line and horizontal line are perpendicular. Opposite reciprocals. Opposite reciprocals have a product of negative 1. So the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. To find the opposite reciprocal, you find the reciprocal of your slope or flip it, the slope, then find the opposite or negate it. So an opposite reciprocal means that we're going to take the slope and we're going to flip and negate that value. Some examples of opposite reciprocals. They ask us to find the opposite reciprocals of the following. The first thing that we're given is 4 over 3. Remember the first thing we need to do is find the reciprocal or flip it. When we flip 4 over 3 it becomes 3 over 4. We also need to negate it because 4 over 3 is positive the opposite is going to be negative. So the opposite reciprocal of 4 over 3 is negative 3 over 4. The next number we're asked to find the opposite reciprocal of is negative 5. Well, we can't really flip negative 5 just written as the whole number. But remember, we can write every whole number over 1. So instead of thinking of, is, of this number as negative 5, let's think of it as negative 5 over 1. Well, negative 5 over 1 when we find the reciprocal, it would be 1 over 5. And because it's a negative right now, the opposite of a negative is going to be a positive. So the opposite reciprocal of negative 5 or negative 5 over 1 is a positive 1 over 5. The last example we're asked to find the opposite reciprocal of is 7 over 9. Well, 7 over 9 is positive. First thing we need to do is find the reciprocal, which would be 9 over 7 and the opposite of a positive is a negative. So the 
opposite reciprocal of 7 over 9 is a negative 9 over 7. This next example says, are the graphs of 2y equals negative 3x plus 6 and y equals 2 thirds x plus 2 parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Parallel, they would have the same slope. Perpendicular, they would have the opposite reciprocal. Um, their slopes would be opposite reciprocals. And neither would be that they don't have either of those relationships. If you notice, the first equation we're given, 2y equals negative 3x plus 6, is not in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to change it to slope-intercept form so that I know what the slope is. To change this equation to slope-intercept form, I need to divide both sides by 2. And remember, when you divide both sides by 2, you're dividing everything by 2. Dividing by 2 um, gets rid of the 2s and we, we're left with y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. These lines have slopes of negative 3 over 2 and a positive 2 over 3 because the second equation y equals 2 over 3x plus 2 is already in slope-intercept form. These values, negative 3 over 2 and 2 over 3, are negative reciprocals of each other, so the lines are uh, perpendicular. The graph of which equation passes through 10, 15, and is perpendicular to the graph of y equals negative 5 over 6x minus 2. We're trying to um, have find an equation that is perpendicular to y equals negative 5 over 6x minus 2. Remember, perpendicular line slopes are opposite reciprocals, which means that this line slope has to be a positive 6 over 5. Because I know the slope needs to be a positive 6 over 5, I can go ahead and cross out A and B. Those two lines would be parallel to the line given, so that's not going to work. Notice in both C and D, the slope is a positive 6 over 5, so either one of those could be the correct answer. I need to go ahead and write the equation in slope-intercept form to uh, figure out which one is correct. To do that, I'm going to use the same method that I have before. I know that the slope needs to be a positive 6 over 5, and I know a point on the line, so I'm going to start by using point slope form, which is y minus 15 equals 6 over 5, parenthesis x minus 10. Go ahead and distribute your 6 over 5, or your 6 fifths, to x and to negative 10, and you get y minus 15 equals 6 over 5x minus 12. Now I need to add 15 to both sides to get y by itself, and when I do that, I get y equals 6 over 5x plus 3. So the correct answer to this question is C, y equals 6 over 5x plus 3. The last example says Carla is using a coordinate grid to make a map of her hometown. She plots Main Street as shown. If 3rd Street is perpendicular to Main Street at 5, 7, what is an equation for Third Street? We can use this graph to find the slope of the uh, slope of Main Street. The slope of Main Street. Choose two points on this line. Either way, you would get a negative one over five. Remember, slope is rise over run, and if you go down or to the left, your value is going to be negative. I know that the slope of a line that is perpendicular needs to be the opposite reciprocal. The opposite reciprocal of negative 1 over 5 would be a positive 5 over 1 or just a positive 5. I'm given a point for this line. I also know that the slope of the line needs to be 5. So I'm going to start in point slope form which is y minus 7 equals 5 parenthesis x minus 5. To go ahead and write this equation in slope-intercept form, I need to distribute the 5, which gives me y minus 7 equals 5x minus 25. To get y by itself, to put this into slope-intercept form, I need to go ahead and add 7 to both sides, which means that the equation is y equals 5x minus 18. Today's assignment is on page 360. It's numbers 2 through 20 even, 
and numbers 25 through 27 all.